Good morning, adventurers. It is about eight o'clock in the morning. We are here at Black River State Park, Wisconsin, located in about uh, south central Wisconsin or southwest Wisconsin, I guess. Um, I chose a trail that's about six and a half miles long. We're gonna go up a ridge which is a black diamond trail and then we're gonna head down the other side and back around which is a blue trail so it's a beautiful day it's like supposed to get up to 73 today so it's nice and cool perfect day for hiking it's a nice breeze in there gorgeous day sun is shining There are a lot of mushrooms out here today. This one here is called a grisette. A grisette mushroom, which is actually edible. I'm not going to go ahead and try it, but... It is said that they are edible. And another. And more. They're all over this place. This is a mushroom hunter's haven. We're about two miles in, and we have reached the first overlook. Oh, I'm out of breath. We've reached the top of the ridge, so now we're following the top of this ridge here. A beautiful overlook. Overlook the flat Wisconsin landscape. So I did look up. <clears throat> Apparently the southwestern part of Wisconsin, the southern part of Minnesota, northern Iowa, and the very corner of northwestern Illinois is called the Driftless Area, which is an area that over the last ice age didn't get covered in ice. So that is why it's a little more rugged, the steeper hills, and uh, you know, rockier landscape than uh, most of Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin. So that, my friends, is why I have so many hills around here in this part of Wisconsin. I just stopped for a second just to say this is what it's all about 70 degrees clear blue skies 10 degree or 10 mile an hour breeze coming through the trees this is what it's about awesome you couldn't ask for a better day than today right now this is why we do it.
deer down there. I doubt you could see that in a GoPro. The deer just ran by. All right, we have hiked another couple miles and we're at the second overlook. Beautiful. I think the last time we were looking towards the west and now we're looking south. I believe. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to sit here for 10-15 minutes, have a little snack. I got uh, some applesauce and some chips. Full disclosure. It wasn't really 10, 15 minutes. It was probably more like 45 minutes. Um, I was sitting there just having a great time, relaxing, and I look over and there's a deer standing like about 30 feet away from me. And uh, it was almost like he didn't know I was there either because we made eye contact and he ran away. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's a good time, but uh, Time to move on. We uh, took a little detour. I saw a sign that said old historic farm site. Um, so it didn't look like it was too far, so I'm gonna check it out. But I was noticing as I'm walking here, in one of my earlier videos, I talked about some forest ecology and how you can see rises and fall, or I think they're called pits, rises and pits on the floor in a forest because of uh, trees falling down and decaying and that cycle and such. But as I was walking along here, this being an old historic farm site, I started noticing that this ground here doesn't have those, meaning that it was plowed at some point and has been flattened out. As you can see, there are trees, which many of you might have said when I said, how do you know if you're in the forest? And oh, by the trees. Not necessarily, this was a farm at one point. So the ground was plowed, and these trees are probably, you know, they could be only 20, 30 years old. For all we know. Here we are at the farm. So, this land, I guess, was purchased by a man. It was uh, 80 acres purchased from the United States government for $4. Um, he logged the land, sold all the logs, turned it into a farm, and built some structures here. Let's check this out. This first one here is a root cellar, which they said they used to store food in the winter 
and use protection from thunderstorms and tornadoes. And I guess it said that there's a record of a woman actually being killed by a tornado here that didn't make it to the cellar. So, it's actually kind of cool that we can actually go down into this cellar. Most places would have it probably blocked off, but look at this. Wow, no animals in here? Okay, good. Hmm. I wonder if they use this for a chimney or something. Could light a fire in there and warm it up in here. Pretty cool. I wonder if those benches are from the original cellar or not, or if the park put them there. That is very cool. Then over here, there's a well, hand dug well. I haven't checked this out yet. Let's go check it out. All right, so here we are at the well. They did block this well off, obviously. Wow, and that is deep. So the sign over here says that this hand, this well was dug by hand and they they think that it was dug by a method where they take a steel cylinder that's about four or five feet or in diameter and a few feet tall and then someone a guy gets inside of the cylinder and digs digs out the inside of the cylinder and lets the cylinder fall down and then as you know once it gets down below the level of the ground, they start laying bricks. Or rocks in this case, I guess. But yeah, that looks pretty deep. That looks, I can see the bottom. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but I can see the bottom. It looks like it's about... Maybe 80 feet down? Maybe 100? I don't know. It's hard to estimate. Yeah. I don't see any water down there. That looks dry. Cool, cool. Nice little roof structure over right here. Okay, well, I walked all over. I can't find any evidence of any structures. It said you can find some stones for the foundation that were cut by hand, but I don't see anything anywhere. Might be overgrown or whatever, so. I guess it's back to the parking lot. All right. We are right in here at the parking lot. So, all in all, this was a great place. I liked it here. The uh, trails were wide and extremely grassy, which was beautiful. I mean, look at this. Very soft to walk on. Um, there's tons of trails. I could come back here in seven and a half miles and I wouldn't have to use the same trail twice. Anyway, saw some wildlife, some good views. It's a good time. So I guess signing up until our next adventure. <laughs> <laughs>